Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another YouTube video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make 3D text on Photoshop. Before we get into the video, I'd like to say if this video help you out in any type of way, or it just you like the video in general, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm trying to hit 60 subscribers. All right, now let's get straight into the video. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new layer and you can choose whatever size you want but just make it some large enough to fit the text on and make sure the layer is transparent so you can see the text really clear now to create the 3d text obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to pl place some text and once you place text when you type the text with the um the text tool vertical text tool or whatever now what you want to do is you want to go to the three 3d up there like you can see at the top of your screen on that first layer below like it's three up there and then it's just a 3d thing you can see it up there if you're on photoshop and after you, you go to 3d you can see that you you will be able to like mess with your 3d stuff and um turn it around and rotate it put however you want your words to be but all of this is just going to be in 3d because after you hit the 3d button obviously everything's going to be in 3d so after you do that what you got to do is like you got to listen to me throughout this tutorial because i can't show you what i'm doing on my screen it won't let me do it for some reason now what you have to do is rasterize the 3d text and to do this you have to go on the layer when you go to layers you have to click on the layer and what you have to do you have to right click on it and you'll see rasterize text it's right under render so after you do that you will actually be able to move the 3d text around and that's how you make 3d text now if you want to make the 3d text like you've seen in the thumbnail i'm about to show you guys how to do that right now so the pack you will need for this is going to be the riser pack because it has all the good 3ds in there it has all the good 3d renders and stuff now i'm going to the riser pack right now and when you just load it up you have to go to the layer styles please I'm about to show you guys right now okay i'm in the pack i'm going straight over to layer styles go to 3d layer style don't um care about any of these other layers you can just get out of the way so you should be in the layer section right now okay 3d layer styles and then you can just show any layer you want but the thing is when you do these what you have to do is i'm gonna pick the green layer I'm just gonna show you guys what you have to do. Now you see my color green, obviously, but um, if you want to make it look really good, what you have to do is have to make sure it's the same color when you create these texts. So you have to go to the you have to go to the color picker over there and make sure it's green before you even type text. So when you type that text, the text will be green, and then it'll fit with that same color. So now what you do, you right click on the layer that has the 3d text and what you want to do is you want to copy the layer style and basically what this is going to do this is going to transfer all the colors that was on that 3d layer over to this one so now you can see that i have good looking 3d text but i'm going to do it with more text because if you want to make it look even better what you have to do is you can go to the color picker and you can actually scan the color that's on there to make it look almost correctly the same color so i'm about to type it again type the word green and now i already have the text copy so i don't have to copy it again but i did it with the color picker so i picked the color but you guys can't see it so now i'm gonna paste the layer style and then i'm gonna go 3d and then as you can see it looks way better now now i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna rasterize the 3d like i told you guys to do earlier and i'm gonna paste the layer style once again and you can see that the three green text looks way better it has better shadows and all that so yeah, I'm going to do this with a few more colors also. It's just bad that I can't show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So you really have to listen to me when I explain it. And if you have any trouble with this, just hit me up on any of my social medias or either comment on the video. Alright, the next color I'm going to do is... I'm going to do the color... I'm going to do the color yellow. The color yellow is going to look really good. Alright, so you just grab the color and obviously you take it over. Make sure you're using the pointer tool so you can actually grab it and take it over to your other... um other thing so now i just type the color yellow and obviously i gotta make sure this is yellow which i didn't do just make sure you have the right color and like i said you could use the color picker to make sure it's actually like the exact same color so it looks like 10 times better so now i picked the color yellow and now i'm gonna copy the layer style what you have to do you have to copy the layer style and paste it on that text. What you do is right click the actual layer with has the 3D text and then you see copy layer style. It's right under warp text. Okay, and then I paste the layer style on the actual thing yellow. And now I will make yellow 3D right beside filter on the top of your um Photoshop thing. So now I'm making it 3D as you see it's 3D. And now I rasterize the text, which is right under render. You have to after you make it 3D and you put it wherever you want to. 
can you rasterize the 3D text? And it's right under the word render. So after I do that, you can see that the 3D already looks good, but it's gonna look better when I do this. So you see, I paste the layer style, and it just makes everything looks alive. Like the 3D actually looks good. So yeah, I'm gonna do it with it. one more color, but yeah, I'm gonna do it with the color. Um, I guess I do it with red because the red one looks the best one. I, looks like the best one in my opinion. But yeah, you see, I got the red one. I'm not gonna like you also could do it without the color picker, which I think looks better when I do it without the color picker because you can basically just do your own color, but they still make your 3D stand out. So I'm just type the color red. I'm not even gonna use the color picker on this one. But you see, it's already 3D. Now, I rasterize the 3D text, which is right on the render. I say this every time because I don't want nobody to mess up. Now, after I do that, I paste. Hold on, I gotta copy the layer style first, then I paste it. And I'll tell you guys how to copy the layer style. What you do is you just right click the layer, like you right click the 3D text, and then you copy the layer style. And after you do that, you go to your tick that you just made and you paste the layer style after you get done with the 3D one. And you can see that the 3D color looks way better. So, this is how you do it. And yeah, it just looks really good. I actually used this during my banner the other day, and it just looked good. I'm gonna do it with the color white. This is the last one, so you guys don't mess up. I'm gonna just make this really in depth. Okay, now the first thing you wanna do is you can copy the layer style. Now you type the text. Now you gotta make sure the text is actually white. So you go to color picker, which is the last thing on here. You go to color picker, and then you make sure you have it white. So you gotta go all the way to that side, the where white is. Okay, I'm just put random letters right here. Now you see I have this. I copied the layer style. From the actual 3D white text, which I did was I right clicked on it, so I copy layer style, which is right on the white warp text. That's what I did, and then I go over to my text and I paste the layer style, which is right on the copy layer style. Okay, after I paste the layer style, you can see that the um, text color actually changed. Now you have to go 3D, which is at the top of Photoshop, and it's right beside filter. After you do that, you see that I made my words 3D, and then now. What I do is I go to layers. I go to layers, and you'll know what I'm talking about. I go to layers, and then you see render, you see rasterize 3D text. What you want to hit is rasterize 3D, and that's at the bottom of the thing. You shouldn't be able to hit nothing else but that. So after you do that, you can actually move the text around, and now you have to paste the layer style. And after you paste the layer style, you can see you have your 3D text right here. So that's how you do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Didn't enjoy it. I hope it helped you guys out. And yeah, like and subscribe if this video really helped you out. Alright.